Before I get into this tea that happened on the weekend, and what happened on my weekend and where it went was my nephew's birthday. Now, my nephew's birthday, I had a great, great time until the end of the party, and I'll tell you guys why. I'll tell you guys why and why it's still ruining my day until now. But that being said, let's get into this video and this little story time. You feel a vibe is contagious. Look in your eyes, feel it's dangerous. Grateful I had all the patience. I know you going through some changes. You taking pictures, know your angles. Ooh, no, we ain't perfect, but we them close. Ooh, you give me something I can pay for. No angel, but you got a halo. Hey, Becky Squad. It's your girl, Becky, in the cut. Again, another mother effing video. Today, I'm going to be doing a mukbang, like you see from the title below. I got it from Bourbon Chicken. Yes, you guys want to see. It looks like this. But I did heat it up. So, I'm not sure if the chicken's going to taste that blessed. But they got it for me from earlier, so I had to warm it up. By the way, if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. If you're just coming back to visit, welcome back, y'all. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe below and click that post notifications bell to get notified anytime I drop a new video. And if you guys did not know, this is my oldest son, Marquis. So say what up. Hi. And today, I'm not sure if he wants to do the mukbang with me, but I'm about to eat this food and tell you guys a little story time about what happened on my weekend and throw in some clips of what went on during the weekend. With that being said, let's get into this mukbang and I hope you guys are blessed, well, safe and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button below and let's get this video up to like, let me see, 25 likes. All right guys, let's get it. So guys, right here I got some mashed potatoes, okay? My favorite, some chow mein, which they look a little dry up right now, and some chicken that is uh, steamed up because um, I put it in the microwave, so I'm not sure how it's gonna taste. It's supposed to look crispy, but they don't look that crispy. But I'm sure it tastes blessed. Let's get into this food. Mmm. You hear the sun? The mashed potatoes taste very good. I'm Wanna coming. taste it? Yeah. I think it does need like some salt and pepper though, so I, I might go I cop like, that. I like every time my mashed potato. Mm. Hold up, let me get some salt and pepper because this mashed potatoes needs it. Okay. So guys, I got my black pepper and some seasoning salt because I don't know about y'all, but I love my seasoning. I can't have my food not seasoned at all. Like, heck no. But, yeah. So we're going to add some salt first. Let me open this. What the heck? I always struggle with these damn packs. It's so annoying. Finally. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And I want to add some black pepper. So one, two, three. Proper. So now this should taste blessed. So guys, now that I have my seasoning in there, I'm going to go taste it now. Mm-hmm. I knew that's what I was missing. I knew it. I'm not sure if this is gravy. They gave me this. Not sure what the heck it tastes like. I'm about to taste it, though. If you guys don't know, Coke is my favorite drink. My favorite. And I also like Orange Fanta and ginger ale when my stomach hurts. But, you know. Well, let me know in the comments below what your favorite drink is. And if you guys like anything on this plate right now. Well, not plate, but, you know, foil container. If you guys like chow mein, if you guys like mashed potatoes, or if you guys like bourbon chicken, or if you tried it before. Anywho, before I get into this tea that happened on the weekend, I'm gonna throw in some clips of like the good parts of what happened on my weekend, and what happened on my weekend and where it went 
was my nephew's birthday. Now my nephew's birthday, I had a great, great time until the end of the party. And I'll tell you guys why. I'll tell you guys why. And why it's still ruining my day until now. But that being said, let's get into this video and this little story time. So guys, on my weekend, I went to my nephew's birthday, like I said. My sister had a friend's house that I've never met before. Me, personally, I'm good with meeting new people. But once they cross the line with me, I ain't so good with them no more. So this is how this story is going to play out, guys. So we had a great time at my nephew's party, like I said. Cut the cake, ate some food, danced with the kids, danced with my sister. And the person that basically had the party for my sister, like, she set it up at her place. So, you know, all of us had to have respect for the person that was holding the party at their place, right? So, she was nice enough to do that for my sister and let my sister have a party there. So, basically... Mm. Sorry, guys, this is so damn good. Basically, um, throughout the party, she wasn't very sociable. She wasn't around the kids. She wasn't even socializing really with my sister. She's stuck in her room. But I understood it in a sense because she said she was upset and stuff like that. So I understood. I understand why people don't want to be around anyone. So they like to take time to themselves. So I don't, I don't bash anyone for that. Okay, so I'm, I understood, and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, you can, like, you know, take time for yourself. It makes sense. If you don't want to be around anyone, then that's fine. But in my head at the time, I was just like, okay, maybe she's just not very sociable. Maybe there's a lot of people, and she feels uncomfortable, that sort of thing. Because literally everyone at the party that my sister invited does not know this girl. And the girl I'm talking about is the girl that the, play, the party is hosted at. So basically, um, during the party, everyone's coming through, having a great time, good vibes, stuff like that. And my mom even comes through. But when my mom comes, she doesn't even bother to come out her room to say hi. Nothing like that. No. So I thought that was very rude of her from the get-go. But I let it slide because I'm like, okay, she's upset and stuff like that. Hold on, guys. I need a bite of this. This is really good. The sauce is on it. Because this is my first time trying it. But the downfall of this, I left it sit for too long. You know when things are supposed to be crispy when they are fresh? Like when you get them fresh? This is supposed to be crispy, soft in the inside. But now the inside is a little bit hard. And the outside is a little bit soggy. But it's fine. Because it still tastes good. And I'm going to eat it. So like I was saying, I was upset because she didn't come out and say hi to my mom. But like I said, she was upset, so I didn't take any offense to it, basically. Didn't take it to heart. So we just allowed her, stuff like that. More people came. She's still in her room. But during that time, when people were coming in and out to her house to join the party, she was... Telling us to make sure the kids don't go by her door because she will snap. She doesn't want no kids by her door. Make sure the kids stay in the living room. And let me tell you guys this. It's a one-bedroom apartment. The bathroom is right here. Her room door is right here. Literally across from each other. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's literally like this. Bathroom, her door. This is the living room over here. And this is the front door. So the door is over here to get in her house. Whatever, right? So basically, the kids, if they need to use the bathroom, they're going to go in front of her door. 
Am I correct? So basically, anytime the kids would go by her door, she'll freak out and be like, Oh, I told you guys, no kids by the door. This, that. Um, when they by accidently open her door, which I know it's her her room, her privacy, but they're kids, and obviously kids do things that they're not supposed to do sometimes, right? So that being said, um, and I'm not only talking about my kids, I'm talking about the kids in general at the party were going in and out her room, like opening her door. So she was there freaking out, swearing, saying, oh, this is the last effing time I'm going to say this. Get these effing kids out of my room or I'm going to snap or party's done. Party's done. Party's over. So I'm taken back and I'm sitting here like, okay. Like, I, she can't be talking to the kids like that. She better not talk to my kids like that. So there's times when the kids would be banging and stuff like that. And I understand kids are hectic. They get wild, stuff like that. If someone else's house, you should tell them to relax, which we have multiple and multiple of times. <clears throat> Excuse me. But like I said, if there's 12 children, how do you expect all those 12 children to be quiet? Let me, let me ask you guys that. How? Because I have three on my own, and it's hard to get them quiet. So if there's 12 kids, right, how do you expect for all, one person, which is my sister, to get all of them under control, which she expected? while she stayed in her room all day when she wanted to host the party. So I'm sitting back, taking the story, taking the situation, and I'm like, okay, this has gone too far. She's yelling at the kids, she's banging on the wall, like boom, 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 whenever they would make noise. I'm like, okay, what is going on with this girl? Like, in the beginning, she seems so sweet, so nice. She's like telling me about what's going on in her life, and I'm telling her what goes on in my life. And then she just starts like having like, I don't even know what to call it. I was so confused, guys. I was just very confused. But let me just take some of this. I want to taste some of this. This looks good, but I swear it's supposed to look more brown. Mm. I guess it's all right. Okay, guys, so then after that, we're all just hanging out. People are leaving because obviously the party's like done. It's like about 8 o'clock in the night. Everyone's leaving. Um, even my girl's leaving. Her nephew came to say bye to us because we were like talking to the girl in her room because clearly she did not want to come out the room. So whenever we needed to talk to her or whatever, we would go in her room to talk to her. So basically, like, um, my friend's, yeah, my friend's nephew went in the room, went to say bye to her, and automatically, right when the door opened, she snapped. She freaked out. It's like, how much time did it say? No one opened this effing door. I'm done talking. Tina, talk to your friends. This, that. I'm like, whoa, this girl's getting out of line. Like, so I had to say something. I'm like, he's just saying bye. Like, it's not that big of a deal. He's just saying bye. He's a kid. You know? So from then, she's just like, I don't care. I already told everybody to not open this door. So I'm like, oh my God. Like, what is going on with this girl? So I'm really, like, trying to keep my cool and be humble. Because usually, I already, I already done what it says something. From time. So basically, summing everything up. I, she was like getting aggravated, saying she's getting aggravated, getting annoyed, this, that. So at one point I'm just like, so are you trying to say like you don't want you don't want no one here? If that's the case, just say it. Like, just tell us what it is. You know. And it's my sister in the room, 
my girl Ashley that I literally five minutes introduced her to. Like five minutes ago, like say it just happened five minutes ago, I introduced her to my friend on a nice note. As in, hey girl, this is my other friend Ashley. You know that she's been my friend for a long time and she was cool and all that. But literally five minutes of my friend being there, this whole thing went down. Literally. So, and don't worry, the kids weren't around. There was no fights, no fighting, nothing like that. But it went down. It went down because she she really pissed me off. Okay, it gone too far. Like it literally gone too far. So basically, I said to her, "What's the problem? Like you just you're very like annoyed." You're saying you're having anxiety attacks. We're giving your dog anxiety. Literally, she said we're giving her dog anxiety. I don't know. She she just kept again. Like I'm just like you just seem very annoyed. Like, do you want us to leave? Just tell us what it is because that's just how it's coming off. You're giving off that negative vibe. Oh my god! Right when I said you're giving off that negative vibe, she's like, how am I giving off that negative vibe? I'm like, well, you're, you could tell that you're annoyed and you don't want no one here. Just tell us what it is. She flipped at that moment. She looked at my sister, she's like, Tina, talk to your sister. This, that. I'm like, talk to who? No one needs to talk to me. I'm right here and I'll say what I have to say. You've been aggravated. You've been yelling at the kids. You've been yelling at everyone that was here saying, move the F out the way whenever we would go past the TV because she was playing Call of Duty during the whole party, literally. Playing Call of Duty with her boyfriend on cam. So I was like, now she's snapping at people for going in front of the TV, which I do understand it gets annoying, but like you're doing it at a kid's party that you wanted to host. So then at the end of all this, my sister and my brother are yelling at me saying I'm the one in the wrong because I ended up snapping. I'm like, how am I the one in the wrong when no one was saying anything, and now I'm the one to say something. And from get-go, like, people that were coming in and out were even saying, okay, she's obviously upset, we're going to leave, she's cheese, cheese, which means very pissed off. So I'm like, exactly. Like, she was giving off that vibe, so why are we going to stick around and she's giving off that vibe? So let me know in the comments if you guys think I'm wrong about this, because really, now I'm like, in a semi-argument with my sister and my brother because they really believe that I'm in the wrong. When I'm really talking up for everybody at the party because no one said anything. And I don't believe that's right. I don't know about y'all, but I, I always held my ground. No one's going to try to talk to me. No, way. I don't care if it's your house or not. You're not going to disrespect me at all. If I came at you in a nice way, calmly, respectfully, and then you want to raise your voice at me, best believe I'm coming with the same type of energy. Because I'm not having it. Then, <laughs> I got to laugh because... You guys won't even believe. So, I'm going through my DMs. Scrolling through, scrolling through. And then I see a DM from her. And I'm like, oh my god, what now? Like, it's been a week. What happened now? And like, there's nothing she can say to me. Like, she already popped off. I dropped it. I let it go. I'm not even that mad. It wasn't even that serious. I was just putting out my point. And like I said, even before I left, guys not to put in I said oh well even though you were rude about everything nice meeting you and thanks for having thanks for letting us be at your house and having the my nephew's party here and I walked away you know so it wasn't like I was really trying to fight her if you guys really trust me if you guys know me 
in real life, you would know. That that shit wouldn't fly. Like, I'm not saying I fight all the time, but I'm telling you, I would throw it down if I need to. And if people really cross the line with me, like, I'm not having it. I don't care what anybody has to tell me, like. But like I said, um, <laughs> the funny thing is, like, they're telling me grow up when really I'm talking for my own right. And on top of that, no one's going to talk to my kids like that. I don't care who you are. I talk to my kids like that. If, I, if they're in your house, let me know what they're doing and I'll talk to them. You're not going to swear at my kids. And on top of that, you're not going to swear at my nephew or my friend's children. For nothing. For nothing. So, yeah. So she messaged me saying she wants to talk to me about the shit I pulled at her house. I'm like, at her house? The shit I pulled? <laughs> like... Trust me, I didn't pull nothing. That was me being humble. If I actually pulled something, then she would be talking about it till this day, like she is right now. I didn't pull nothing like that. She'll be talking about the situation for past this time. Probably She'll probably lock off my sister. I kept humble, because I said, I'm going to change for 2019. And people didn't believe me. But like I said, I know I've been trying this whole time, but ugh, I have to get that off my chest, guys, because... Literally this morning, all this drama with my sister and brother, because I had to call them. I'm like, why is she expecting an apology from me? Like, did I do something wrong? Like, did I break anything in her house? I even cleaned her house when I left. Before I left her house, I cleaned it to help my sister and to keep her house clean. But she wanted to disrespect me like that? I don't think so, honey. Not today. No, no, no. Excuse me. So, guys, that was the end of my little story. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. If I'm in the wrong, who's in the wrong. Just let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear. And I hopefully can get through this time. I know family always fights. This is like a regular thing for me. But at the end of the day, right now, I just need to step back. Take myself away. Because people need to realize that... I wasn't in the wrong that day, okay? People really need to realize I was not in the wrong. I'm talking up for all of us because no one had a mouth that day. No one had a mouth. No one wanted to say anything because she was the host of the party that didn't want to be around the people at the party. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think, okay? And um, I'm going to throw in some clips of the weekend, the good vibe part. So here they are. Hey, back at squad, what it do, what it do. If you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. If you're just coming back, welcome back. Subscribe below if you want to be part of back at squad. Today is my nephew's birthday. We're at a friend's house celebrating it. We have a couple friends here already, so I'm gonna show you guys them. So you're gonna get to see family, friends, and children in this vlog. So if you wanna celebrate this birthday party with us, then come along with us, watch the full video, smash the like button below, and safety. Ear. 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 It's more family that's MIA all the time. My name is uh, Yer. <laughs> this is the fam, you know. Hey, Sean, come here. Come introduce yourself. Say hi, guys. Say, hi. Say, what's your name? What's your name? Tell what's your name? name? Tell what's them your name. My name is Jay Sean. <laughs> Pizza. pizza. <gasps> KK, this is the birthday boy. KK, come here. Come. It's the birthday boy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Cheese. <laughs> She's like, no. <laughs> Wow. We got the pizza on deck. 
This food is so damn good. <clears throat> Anywho, so guys, I hope you enjoyed this little story time, the mini clips, and me just filling myself up. <laughs> but smash that like button below if you guys like the video. Subscribe below if you have not yet, and stay tuned for more videos by me. And post notification shout out goes to Jaren Lumpkin and Nelly's Beauty Joy. So go subscribe to their channel. Go check them out. Go like, comment, subscribe, and show us that love. Alright guys, that being said, I will be uploading a next video on the Friday. So stay tuned because it's going to be lit. It's going to be my shoe collection video. So stay tuned. That being said, this girl's out. Do you say? <laughs>